Hey, Rockford, Jake here. Today I'm joined by Vicki Lynn, and we are inside the Eclipse Center up here in Beloit, just across the state line. How's it going, Vicki? It's going pretty good. Awesome. So you have a upcoming event here inside the Eclipse Center. So Black all women. this space is about to be filled with some wonderful people. And what are y'all doing here? Okay, so I am Vicki Lynn. I am the founder of the Black Women in Business Expo Beloit. And it is a vendor event that puts a spotlight on Black women in business in the state line area. Fantastic. And this is not your first go around. No, this is our third annual event and it's just getting bigger and bigger and we appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. So tell me a little bit about like your your personal journey and kind of like what was the inspiration for creating the expo? OK, well, uh, honestly, um, my mother passed away in October of 2018 and I could not move for three weeks and I was just like, OK, I still have to pay bills. I got to do something. What can I do? And I have been making my own skincare products for three years. And so I was like, you know what? Maybe people will buy this. And yeah. then when I started getting more and more into business, I'm like, okay, I need somebody to help me. I know nothing about this. And so I started looking around for, you know, women. Then I realized, okay, you know, I have to navigate the world differently. We don't want to think like that, but it's true. It's I have true. to navigate the world differently because I am a black woman you know, in America. So I started reaching out to black women in business and found out that there were a whole slew of them <laughs> everywhere. everywhere. And I had no idea. And I knew it as a black woman, if I had no idea that these women were around, that means you had no idea that these women were around. So I was like, we need an event. We need an expo. <laughs> yeah, you need to pull them <laughs> all together. We need a spotlight on these women. Yeah, absolutely. And they are, they are tremendous. There's so many beautiful women with their own businesses. That's in, amazing. In yeah. And so you're pulling together an expo this um, coming up here real quick. Yes, real quick. We had to get started late because we wanted to work within the parameters of the COVID guidelines. Yeah. And I wasn't going to do it at first. And then I'm walking through Walmart. I'm like, wait a minute. Everybody's still out here shopping. Sure. But businesses, small businesses, you know, black and any other are suffering. But we still shopping in the big stores and spending money with big corporations. I was like, okay, these small businesses, we need a win. So yeah. I was like, okay, we won't do the usual things that we do because we do have speakers and comedians and poets and step teams and musicians. Like we have the whole shebang. <laughs> we, we celebrate Black History Month too. Yeah, it's a and, celebration. You know, so I was like, okay, we can't do all that because we can't have people congregating, but we can still help these ladies to get a win, to survive just a little bit longer yeah. during this pandemic. And like you said, like shine a, spot, shine a spotlight on them and help yeah. raise awareness about them. Yes, and we want just, you to know yeah. that we are here. And, and this is what I keep saying, everything that you can think of, there's probably a black woman in business who does it or knows somebody who does. Like I'm literally standing in almost head to toe black women in business <laughs> attire, like seriously. Even even what's on my skin is from me and a lady in Rockford Custom Creams. Shout out to Jazz. So yeah. Nice, nice. And uh, you just mentioned Rockford, right? So the yes. event is happening here in Beloit, but it's not just for black women business owners that Absolutely are in Beloit. It's not. all we over want, the region. You are within, if, if you want to drive, I don't care where you're from, but <laughs> if you are within two hours of the Wisconsin, Illinois state line, come through, sis. You know, we, we, we love to have you. We want people to know that you are here. Home base, storefront, it does not matter. Come through. That's awesome. And so yeah. the event is going to be held here Saturday, February 13th. Yes, in the, uh, uh, the Eclipse Center here in Beloit, Wisconsin. Uh, it is in the old mall. If you if you old enough, if you in your 40s, you remember <laughs> the old mall. But they've turned it into an event center and it's absolutely amazing. Uh, I want to thank them for having us. Um, what did you just ask me? I was just going to ask like, if people want to uh, be a part of the expo or come and like learn about all of the wonderful ladies that are going to be here, oh, um, their businesses. Like, where do they go? I my train of thought. <laughs> I, I came up here to measure space, so I'm thinking about everything right now. But uh, what? Where do they go? <laughs> you got to edit this <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. Serious. Okay. Um, so you have a Facebook page for the event? Huh? You have a Facebook page for the event? Oh, yes, uh, website? we do have. Uh, uh, you can follow us on Black Women in Business uh, Expo Beloit. 
um, on Facebook. We don't have an Instagram yet. We don't have a website yet because I move slow. <laughs> sure. But we'll we'll put a link to the page, like yes, you know, in, in the in the doobly doo above or below <laughs> the video you. here, so people can click on through and get all the information about the whens, the where's, the details, yes, and, and then they can year, contact you to register as well yes, if they want to have a booth. Thank right? you. And this year, I want to point out that um, uh, personal. This is a personal thing. I um, have health issues. Um, I have a transplant kidney, and it's now failing. So I'm on dialysis and. I don't always receive the best care as a black woman because we always want to talk about the judicial system, you know, not treating black people fairly, but there is a big problem in the healthcare industry as well. And I went to Meritor Hospital last month. I was there for a week and they treated me so well that I could not stop talking about them. <laughs> and guess who's going to sponsor Black Women in Business Expo this year? Unity Point. Health Meritor Hospital is one of our sponsors and they are sponsoring a um, a business owner to have a booth here. Because, That's fantastic. Because COVID, the pandemic was yeah. hard on a lot of us. So some women couldn't afford to do it. And Uni Unity Point Meritor is going to help a young lady have a booth here. That's, That's awesome. The sponsor here, uh, sponsor her uh scholarship yeah so fantastic well thank you so much amazing. vicky for getting together and chat congratulations on your third annual thank you. expo thank it's you. february 13th, super exciting yeah absolutely mark it on your calendars rockford and if you are a black woman in business that lives in the state line region definitely reach out to vicky and uh contact her to get set up yes. with your booth Love here at the expo uh, and if you are just you know like everybody else right like come on down february yes, 13th we have to, we have um, to let you know just because you see black women in the title does not mean you of uh, anybody else cannot come. We go to Oktoberfest, we go to Pride Fest, we go to German Fest, all those places. You're welcome here too. This is a community event. Everybody yeah. come through. Awesome. Well, click on through to the uh, to the links to get all the information and find the details. Mark it on your calendar for February 13th. And a uh, big shout out to all of our business sponsors and backers that make content like this possible. It's because of their support I'm able to chat with people like Vicky and tell you about these awesome events that are happening here in the 815 in the state line region abroad. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Thank Bye, you, Rockford Buzz.